CJ here with the Chief Peak, and today we're going to be doing a chest, back, and abs workout. For this workout, we're going to go through 12 exercises performed in supersets for three sets each. Our working time is 30 seconds, our break time is 15 seconds. If you like this workout, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and let's get to work. We have about 20 seconds until we get started with our warm up. If you have a fitness tracker to watch, be sure to start your workout now. Our first exercise we're going to go into is RDLs. We're going to bend slightly at the knees, hinge at the hips, feel the hamstrings stretch out. There we go. Coming down, stretching out, and coming back. There we go. Whew. Hamstrings are. Nice and tight right now. Just finished deadlifting about an hour ago. Body oh, down here. We got arm swings right here. Forwards and backwards with these. Nothing crazy. Nice and easy. Just warming up the shoulders for the workout. Don't forget to breathe. Chest openers next. Slide down those elbows, opening up the chest. Again, we're not pulling back super hard as we come forwards right here, feeling the back stretch out. Good morning. Next, we're going to start off with that RDL position, and then at the lower part, bend our back. There we go. We're coming down, and then bending at the back, and coming back up. There we go. One more. We got a full rotate press next. Back and down low, come up. External rotation press, back down, internal rotation all the way down. There we go. We got alternating toe touch kicks right here. Just one out at a time. You can do two at a time. Please send me a picture. <laughs> oh, there you go. Are you trying to keep up with me? Oh, we just be in sync with you. Oh. What else right there? Lateral lunges here. Coming down. Up. Oh. We're trying to kind of stretch out the hips. Feel it in the quads a little bit. Mainly for all of our rows we're gonna be doing. Arm circles, hands out right here, making nice small circles. Moving into larger circles. Reverse it if you want. There we go. 20 seconds, we're going in. To the workout, we got rows left side. So this superset, we're gonna do rows left and then rows right for 30 seconds of each one. We're gonna get that split stance going on. Hands go under the right foot here. Free hand bracing the back. Right here, we're pulling back. Coming back. There we go. If you feel like it's gonna be a little light, your dumbbells try to switch real quick. With bands, what you can do is just kind of pull them through. That's going to provide more resistance. Just make sure they don't slip through your foot. If you have like a high arch on the sole of your shoe. Palm faces the body, pulling up to whatever feels natural. So switching sides, I'm going to grab my bands where I had them. That way I'm getting the same resistance for my set here. Couple seconds, remember, brace the back with the free hand. No rows, right side. Come up, squeeze, and back down. Up, squeeze, and back down. There we go. Good control movements here. Another. There we go. 
We'll backhand to that left side. If you have dumbbells and you want to kind of save your triceps, what you can do is put your elbow on the knee like this. Bands, you can try it, but I find that I just have like no resistance because I have to shorten my bands up so much. So see, I don't want that where it gets loose. We don't want that slack in the band, so we have to kind of make sure that they have tension the entire time. Switching sides. You might try it that way. You see, I typically don't. You know, so what happens with the bands doing this is you have almost no tension at the bottom, and then you begin to max out the actual stretch, stretchable length of the bands as you pull back. So it's kind of a, an extreme resistance variation here. So it's like no resistance, so maxed out resistance right there. There we go. Switching sides. Oh, one more set here, left and right. Couple seconds. There we go. Come on. Oh yeah. Feeling good. Good quality reps here. Oh. 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 Switching the right side. Woo! A nice little pump going on already. Right side. All the way down. There we go. Come on. Push it. Feeling a little more honest. 30 second break. We're going into push ups or chest press. You got dumbbells and you're gonna do chest press, you're gonna be on your back for those. And those you should know push-ups, bands. What we're gonna do is take the bands, wrap them around us, pull them into the pits. Nice and high there. I like to have my bands coming off my palms like that. And then from here we're just gonna press out. So pushing out, coming back. Pushing out. Coming back. There we go. If you want, you can try with your bands. Make sure you have multiple bands stacked together. You can wrap them around the shoulders like that. And then from here, we're gonna press out. Just make sure that you kind of press straight out or even a little bit down when you do this, because if you press up, bands are gonna to wanna to roll up the back. We're going into shrugs here. With our bands, we're going to get our feet nice and wide. Eat up a ton of the band. Dumbbells, you're not going to have your feet wide. There we go. Coming up. And down. Bringing the shoulders up to the ears. If you want, you can kind of give it a little hold right there and squeeze. If it feels like it's a little too light, what you can do if you have bands, bring your feet in. Dumbbells, if it's too light, you can just keep your feet in the same position. We can do a short high pull. Right here. So get the shrug and then kick the elbows back and up. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Go back into push ups. I'm going to switch the push ups here. Jim. We're going to see how this goes. I did chest and deads, bench and deads earlier. So see how these push ups feel. 
There you go. You get feel too tough, you can always drop to your knees. If you're already on your knees, what you can do is just drop down onto your chest for like two or three seconds and then push back up. One more. There you go, going back in the shrugs. That actually wasn't that bad. Earlier, I tested my one rep max on bench. If it wasn't like a crazy chest workout. Here we go. I did hit 340 pound bench, one rep max. It's pretty nice. It's not a personal record, but it's not terrible. I haven't really been benching much for the last four or five months, so wasn't expecting to hit anything crazy. I'm gonna go push ups again. Go <laughs> down and up. Make sure that your hands stay under the chest. We don't want our hands coming up to our head at any point during this. We don't want our body to kind of sink back like this and look like that. That's gonna work shoulders. We don't want that. Ooh, the shrugs. You got the last hit, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. I just counting those. <laughs> You're counting those? That's funny. Alright, three sets, that's it. Switching to chest preps after. I'm just happy that there's no legs. That's all I know. I like the push-ups, but it's a little ballet movement. Just push-ups. <laughs> take advantage. <laughs> we got a 30-second break. We got alternating reverse grip rows. What we're going to do here, we're going to keep our feet closer together on this. Definitely don't go past like hip width with the feet. Because then it's going to start running into our hands. Palms are going to face out away from us, elbows tucked to the body the entire time. Hinging at the hips, right here, and then we'll go left, right. There we go. Keeping the chest out, back straight, head can be neutral position or up. You know, so we finally pull up, we're kind of pulling up and back. We're not pulling straight up like that, that would just be doing a curl. So it's less of a natural pull up. We're going to the clean pulls, left and right. You know, we use a lighter weight here. We'll switch halfway through on this. Come on. There we go. Dropping down, coming up. Pulling up to the chest, back down. Make sure to bend at the hips and knees. Keep the back straight. Switch it up. There we go. There we go. Back into alternating burst grip rows. We're trying to work the lats here, which is the muscle right there. And so we're kind of pulling up and back on this. Palms face out away from us, elbows tucked. So nice and close to the body here. Up and back. Up and back. Here we go. Come on. 
sense that. Going left and right again here. Testing it out. Uh -oh. Going for it. She's going for it. No time to switch. <laughs> there you go. Switch it up. Do one more. Ah. Last second on this. Cruising through this workout. Here we go. There we go. Squeeze. 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 There you go. Let's do one more. Oh, there we go. I gotta keep it even. I was fun with the last time, now I gotta finish with the right. Even if that eats in the break time. Go. Yeah, nice and straight here. Hand stays close to the body. Switch it up. Here we go. One more. Thirsting and break. We got pipe push ups, dumbbells, you got decline chest press bands, you got incline chest press. I'm going to demonstrate incline chest press for the first set, and then I'm going to switch to pipes. So, bang behind the back again. We're pushing up towards the head here on these. You don't have to grab your handles like I did. I just didn't want dangling. So it's not going to be like this. I'm still holding on to the bands. So it's coming up to the top of the head. Dumbbells, you'll be in that glute bridge position. There we go. We're going into reverse crunches. Just going to be doing. Planks on our elbows, right? Yes. Reverse crunches. Hands up over the butt. Head up. Feet up. Bring your knees up. Squeeze back down. There we go. Every time you come up, exhale. Try to get the hips up off the ground. Here we go. Come on. If this is too tough, you can always drop it right here. Come back. Down. Up. Going in. Pike push ups here. Decline, incline, whichever. Whichever one tickles your fancy. You want to pass. There we go. Put up in the air. I get my hands a little bit wider. And as I come down, I try to get my chest. In line with the hands again. So this one is fine up here to have your head kind of around where your hands are. But as you come down, you want to be here, not here. That's all shoulders like that. Here, getting that upper chest action. Keep the elbows pulled in. Here we go. First crunch again.
Give it a couple seconds. Feed it out. Pick it up. Pull it in. And pull it in. And there we go. Don't forget to breathe. There you go. Come on. There you go. Back in the pipes. I'll bruise. Get down. Bruce is like just off camera, making all the noise in the world. There you go. Good control reps here. And don't forget to breathe. Inhale as the arms bend, exhale as the arms extend. We get one more. There we go. Back in the reverse crunches. Sweat in the eyes, gotta love it. Feet out. Nope, open up, squeeze. Come on. Brace that burn. Can you come up, try to get that little hold. Yeah. Couple reps left. Thirty seconds. We're going into high rows. We're going to alternate left and right here. So it's going to be fifteen seconds each side. So I'm actually going to do both. So yeah, just like that. And check it out. See what works. Keeping the elbow in line with the shoulder here, right there, just like that. Here we go. So if you want, you can drop one. And uh, yeah, brace yourself. Oh, that was my toe. Because <laughs> we have good morning snacks. There we go. We'll do one more and switch. There we go. Switch it up. Come back, squeeze. This exercise isn't about the weight, it's about the feeling. I'm trying to really feel in the back of the shoulder here. There we go, we got good mornings. Bring your weight. If you haven't done good mornings very much, or very often, choose a lighter weight first and then go up as needed. So we're gonna start in that all position. So as we come down, we're gonna bend at the back, come up. There we go. Uh oh, celebrity appearance coming up. Yeah. At least camera shy kid. I know. At least he's letting you realize this he's on camera. Five minutes again. We're doing the same thing. Switching in 15 seconds. What is it, Bubba? Okay. In a little bit. Try to remember to brace your back. Your free hand. The elbow stays in line with the shoulder. Oh. There we go. After this one, switch. Switch it. Any oh. control movements here. No, baby, don't do that. Thank you. Still one more. Ah, back to the good mornings. You're starting to feel your lower back tighten up. Consider, consider dropping weight for the good mornings. We're going to nowhere, just kind of going through the movement. Dropping that. Going to close up on my bands. Come back up. It's not a fast movement here. 
We need a nice smooth transition from down to up so we don't hurt our back. Back in the high rows here. Set three. Remember to brace your back. If your back feels good, you can always do doubles here. Get that little bit of extra lower back work in. Right there, totally fine. Oh yeah, switch. Sorry. I went to doubles. <laughs> Come on. Good mornings. Back and down. Choke up on your bands, come back up. Remember, nice smooth transition from the down to up. Don't forget to breathe. Get some more. One, last one. We're going into flies. Dumbbells are going to be on your back, slight bend, and the elbows, just like that, bands. We're going to do our standing. So, band, light band is going to go on the back foot. We're going to step out, and then we're going to arch the back right here. We're going to be have our hands in the same position here, slight bend, locking the bend in the elbows. Here we go. There we go. Keep the chest out. That way our movement is in line with the chest and not the shoulders. If you kind of push forward like this and do that, you're doing shoulders big time. There we go. We're going to drop down to the ground. We got crunch holds coming up. You do planks again? Five. Oh, okay. There you go. Crunch holds hands behind the head. Feet pulled up. And then we're going to hold. So we're going to hold for four seconds and then come back for one. So drop down and then back up. You're good. Drop down and back up. Down. So it's a quick down, come back up and hold. Try to keep the shoulder blades off the ground here, down, and back up. Hold to the bell. Here we go. Back in the flies. I'm gonna try to use heavier weight this time. Red band was a little too light for the flies. And then arch the back. There we go. Push it out. Come on. Good controlled movements here. Keep that slight bend in the elbows. If it gets too tough, you could press it out. So bend, press, flies on the negative. Going back into crunch holds. You got to switch sides on this one, huh? Yeah. It's gonna hold, Ricky. There we go. Come up, hold. Down. Up. Down. And up. Here we go. Down. Down, up. 
Down. Hold to the bell. Hold. Hold. There you go. Back in the flies. Final set here. Playing for the last week. Yeah. There we go. Slapping those elbows, marching the back with the bands. Some of those you do not have to arch the back. Oh. With the bands, we also don't have to bring our arms like way down here. Just right here, back up. Oh. Kind of like parallel with the ground, somewhere around there, backed up. Crunch holds your plank. Take your poise in hand. You doing the hands? I'm trying. Nice. Up. Is that the last one? We're on the cool down. Down. Actually, let's just try to hold the 15. Do like seven, eight seconds here. <laughs> Come on, we're gonna hold with Jen this time. Down, back up. Hold, down, and up, hold the bell. Try to get those shoulder blades up. Woo! Come on. There we go. 20 seconds. Woo. Going in the cool down. Get some water. Wipe the sweat. The gin, wipe the glisten. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I've only ever seen you sweat in like a handful of workouts. So we're bringing the oh, actually bringing the arm up and over. You got it right, didn't you? Yeah, totally messed up. And then we're just kind of switching. Whenever you're ready, pulling down. Alternating back stretch here. So we're going to bring the arm across, underhook it, and then pull, and then we're going to alternate on your own time here as well. Nice stretch out. Don't forget to breathe. And drop down. See the shoulder press? Or shoulder. All the time, I feel like I said, shoulder stretch. Fingers point back away from you, chest out, back straight, and then we're going to kind of rock and scoot the butt away from the hands. If you want to do see the shoulder press, you can do it. We'll allow it. Feeling the shoulder stretch out. You feel them begin to loosen up, just kind of scoot the butt a little further, making sure you keep the back nice and straight. You know, down dog with calf stretch. What I like to do with these, put my toes on the end of my mat so I can really push down into that calf stretch. Drive the shoulders down. You know, push into the calves and you're alternating it. You don't have to pull your foot up like this. I just want you to be able to see that I am switching. Now we're going into cobra pose to child pose. We're going to do this as more of a flow. And here, start with our hips down. And here, push up. Do a stretch for just a second. Come up into child's pose. Right here, push back. Go back in. Cobra pose. Down. Don't forget to breathe. Feels a little fast. Oh, I'm a 
<laughs> we have Buddy Fly right here. We're going to be together in front of us, pulling them in. There we go. <laughs> Try to keep our back nice and straight during this. I'm just trying to feel it begin to stretch out. We're going to try to actively push the knees down. You can get your elbows on your knees. Great. I cannot. No chance. Good flexor. Left side. Right leg is going to be out. Left knee is down. Squeeze that left glute before pushing into the stretch. Squeeze that foot. Push down. You try to do the opposite, huh? It's kind of a bit too much. No, it's okay. Okay. So what do you do? Stretch out. Making sure our back is nice and straight. If you don't want to lean forward like this, that reduces the stretch. Over here, rubbing it out. He's dreaming. Puppy dreams over here. Switching sides. Pushing down into it. I know one thing he doesn't dream about, and that is playing fetch. Because if you throw Bruce a ball, you're going to fetch it. He's just going to stare at you. It's true. That's very true. Never. It sticks, falls, it doesn't matter. He ain't going after me. He just did. He plays tug of war. That's it. It's his only game. <sighs> Yo, we are finished. Great workout today. Good stuff. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel. We'll see you on the next one. See you guys.